Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, I am going to give you the complete and clear explanation of unit number 5 Accounting for Non-Profit Organization Theory Part from Degree First Year Second Semester Financial Accounting 2 Subject. Definitely you will be getting a problematic question from this unit but it is better to go with the theory also. Sometimes if you are unable to do the solution, sometimes if you are confused whether you have done the solution right or wrong or if you are finding any extra time, you can go with the theory part okay and for the slow learners who are feeling difficulty definitely you have to go with the theory but yes problematic you should not leave you should do the problematic also at the same time just have a look at the theory theory will be really very easy you just need to understand the concept that's all okay so let us get started but before starting i must say you that if you are new to our channel learn with sahira subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too and if you want the notes of all the subjects including financial accounting whatever the notes you are seeing here in the screen if you want these notes please let me know on my instagram my instagram id is also learn with sahira but note payment is must okay so let us get started first important question is differences between trading concern and non-trading concern what is the difference between trading concern and non-trading concern we need to write okay differences as i said you you have to write in the box let us get started with the differences trading concern and non-trading concern in trading concern it is a business organization that aims to earn profit by selling goods and services so it is a business organization but trading means what buying and selling of goods yes or no buying and selling of goods is nothing but trade so in the trading concern business organization will be there they will be selling the goods or services in order to get the profit in order to get the money okay they are not doing any charity like they are not doing any help to the other they are just mainly focusing on profit but here in the non-trading concern they are not focusing on profit or money they will be working for education charity or donations etc so this is nothing but non-trading like buying and selling of goods will not be there here the main purpose is to help the people here the main objective earn profit serve society as i already said you examples like shop companies factories here schools hospitals and clubs will be coming under non-trading uh, concern trading profit and loss account balance sheet uh, these are the main accounts which are prepared in trading concern but here only the income and expenditure account receipts and payments account will be made in this non-trading concern okay like here result will be profit or loss here it will be surplus or deficit then owner's capital belongs to owners of shareholders but here capital is usually from donations or grants okay like uh, very big people or the rich people will be giving lots of donation lots of uh, like uh, grants and all that right so that is nothing but the capital but here the capital will be given by the owners or the shareholders so this is what the difference is between trading concern and non-trading concern the quick tip here is business plus profit is trading concern here service plus non-profit here it is non-trading concern okay so we have went through first important question now let us go with the second important question explanation but before you have to subscribe our channel learn with saira here now for more videos so let us get started second important question is difference between receipts and payments account and income and expenditure account receipts and payment account what it is and income and expenditure account what it is let us see nature here it is like cash book okay here receipts and uh, receipts and payment account nature will be like cash book okay cash book we will be having right but here income and expenditure it is like profit and loss account it will record actual cash received and paid whatever the transactions are there related to the cash when we are receiving the cash or when we are paying the cash that will be recorded but here incomes earned and expenses incurred will be recorded in income income and expenditure here the type of entry will be cash basis only no adjustment but here it is accrual basis here it provides uh, all the transactions like current past future whatever the transaction it might be like if it had by uh, had been done in the previous year or now or uh, like in the future all that transactions will be included here in the receipts and payments but here they only include current years income and expenses they will leave about past they will leave about future only current year here it is opening and closing balance like it starts with opening or uh, opening cash or bank balance ends with closing balance here no opening and no closing cash balances will be shown 
here capital revenue items both will show like it shows both capital and revenue it here only shows the revenue items okay and here the main objective is to know cash position of a non trading concern here it is to show surplus or deficit okay quick example is how much cash was received or spent in the receipts and payments in the expenditure and income it is what is the actual income or expense for this year so this is what it was the explanation of unit number 5 theory if you are perfect with both of these questions you will be able to write the answer okay but most importantly go with the problem then come to this theory okay but importantly must i must suggest you to go with the theory don't leave theory also just give a reading it is really very easy okay if you are having any further doubts let me know in the comment section see you all in the next video until then bye bye